Hello again, race fans, and welcome to the Trackmaster Plus Pro Quick Tip of the Day. Today we're going to focus on the filtering of the PPs and the different ways you can print the PPs out and view them on the screen. This is really one of the most powerful features of Trackmaster Plus Pro. So I'll bring the Trackmaster Plus Pro program up, and let's go through some of the filters. When you highlight this up in the top there, it says filters. These are all the different filter options you have. You can do it by different distances different surfaces. You can even look at just all weather surfaces, which is very important these days. People only want to see how horses have done or maybe haven't done on all weather surfaces. Different track conditions. Pace scenarios, whether a horse in his past performances has been on the lead within two lengths or just all the races. You may only want to look at past performances that have been recent, so you can look at it within the last 15, 30, 60, 90 days, what have you. Different medication and equipment the horse has been on different jockeys whether it's today's jockey or all jockeys same thing with trainers you can only see lines for a specific or to, for today's specific trainer or for all trainers by the track and surface and even some very useful um, so or filtering you can do with class ratings when you only want to look at class ratings um, that were close to or higher than today's class rating or within a few points of today's rating or speed ratings that were greater to or equal to today's class rating. And again, very, very useful factors in filtering that you can look for that highlight key features that make it very easy for you to handicap today's race car. There's also options on how you view the past performances. I can highlight the view option here and there's a running line display print option. So let me bring that up. And when I click on that, there's two different sections. There's a display options and a print options. So on the display, you can select the standard, which will come up, and you'll always see the last 12 lines. You can click lifetime, and that means the default is every time you'll see the lifetime pass performances for every horse. Or you can select just a custom number of lines. Maybe you only want to see six lines every time it comes up on the screen. For the purposes here, I'll put for the display options the lifetime. And I'll move over to the print options you have here. And in the print options, you have different types of formats. We have actually four different formats. There's a standard format, a bias format, a print or a paste format, and then there's one where you have the filters that are applied that'll print that out. We'll go into more details with this under another tutorial. But to focus here on the different options you have on how many lines, again, you can print out standard 12, you can print out lifetime, or what I like to do is I look at lifetime up on the screen, the display, but when I print it out, I don't want that many to come out, so I have a custom number of lines, and let's say I'll just put on six, and when I click on OK, then when I do click on print, it will only print the last six lines out. And there you have your TrackMaster Plus Pro quick tip of the day, TrackMaster Plus Pro for the serious horse player. Good luck, everyone.